about uh, some new features added to Build Alpha. So first is this Monte Carlo analysis button. Um, it creates three different Monte Carlo um, techniques. So the first one is original Monte Carlo. So what it does is it is a reshuffling of the trade order. Uh, this is to give you a better idea of the possible the possible paths that your system uh, could have uh, and can take in the future. Okay, so let's turn on the randomized Monte Carlo. So what this does is it trades the signals from the back test, but it randomizes each exit. Um, so for example, the first entry might use a two bar exit, the second entry might have a five bar exit, the third entry might have a one bar exit, and on and on. So you can see um, that randomizing these exits actually do not hold up well. So we can come to the conclusion that the signals we found don't actually contain much edge, but rather the performance we found was most likely from a curve fit um, set of exit criteria um, along with these signals. So let's check out the third. So the third Monte Carlo technique is one to 10. This basically creates 10 lines. Um, the first line will use all one bar exits. The second one, the second line will use um, the entry signals in all two bar exits. And the third line will uh, use all three bar exits and on and on. Um, so same idea, obviously you could see that changing the exits of this system um, shows that the signals don't carry much edge, uh, even though the original Monte Carlo looked quite favorable. So these two other Monte Carlo techniques may have just saved us from taking a uh, poor strategy live. Okay, another set of features is if you right click on a selected strategy, you can see this breakdown and seasonality um, option. So breakdown just shows how the strategy did on uh, each day or each month or each quarter or each year of the back test. That's pretty straightforward. Um, and seasonality shows the same thing, but it's cumulative totals. Um, so for example, this Friday is the total P&L from all trades that were taken on a Friday. So hopefully with this information, you might see some seasonal edges like Maybe you want to turn this strategy off in July or December because it seems to underperform. Just an idea, uh, not a suggestion or recommendation. Okay, let's hop over to portfolio mode to see the final feature. So if I go to this portfolio equity curve, um, it will display our portfolio equity curve in blue as always. Um, the red equity curve is the S&P 500 buy and hold benchmark. The gray is the underlying markets buy and hold. Um, so for example, this is a crude oil uh, strategy. So the gray is crude oil buy and hold. Um, I can turn the market off, the S&P 500 benchmark, by clicking the market button. And I can turn the underlying uh, buy and hold off by hitting the underlying button. And uh, so as you can see, you have a benchmark for your portfolio or strategy to beat. Um, and if you would like to see individual strategies against the benchmark, just go ahead um, and uncheck them and view them individually with the portfolio equity curve button. Um, and you can see how individual strategies do against the market. Okay, in addition to a bunch of the new features, we also added about 500 new uh, entry signals for you guys to play with. Um, including rate of change, uh, momentum signals, EMA and SMA filters. Um, a bunch of new RSI and stochastic filters, volatility breakouts, donkey and breakouts, and uh, pivot points along with uh, much more. Um, thanks, guys.